Hey, what's up, SaaS Masters? My name is George, and today I want to show you Similar Mail. Now, what it does, it lets you analyze emails from other companies. So, if you are into email marketing, this tool will be useful for you. What does it actually do? Well, Similar Mail, what it does, it analyzes all the emails from different companies so you can implement that strategy that they're using. So, what kind of information can we find in Similar Mail? Well, what you can find is, for example, how many emails are they sending in a week, a month? What type of emails are they sending? sending, how frequently they're sending, what day are they sending. So in this case, you get a lot of information that I'll show you in a bit. So you can implement this strategy on your own email marketing campaigns. So you get to know what someone is doing in your same niche so you can do it also so you can be successful. Now remember, these guys have spent thousands of dollars analyzing when to send emails and they've been doing so many monitoring inf information that they have so you don't have to spend all that time. Just kind of follow what they are doing already. So it's pretty cool and it might sound a little bit tricky, but I'm going to show you on my desktop what it actually does. So let's jump over to my desktop and check it out. All right, before we head into similar mail's dashboard, let me show you really quickly what the deal is. So right now you can buy it for $39 and that's a lifetime deal. And if you guys would like to support me, please consider using that link in the description. So let me jump over to the plan to show you what it has. And basically it has no limitations and you get access to over 20,000 brands and domains that they are already subscribed to. Now, like I said before, it might be a little bit tricky, but let's jump over to the dashboard and show you what this actually is. So this is the dashboard that you're going to be greeted with and you have these options available so you can explore what you have. So for example, the domains that I am already following, I can check them out. I have my favorite emails right here that I can save. So if I find something interesting from the, one of those emails, I can save it and I can follow domains by searching for them. So for example, let's just say I'm following Nike right here, but you know what? I sell shoes, right? So that's what I do. So I want to find what other companies that are successful are doing. So what are they doing so I can actually mimic what they're doing so I can actually be successful also. So let's just say I want to follow Adidas, right? Let me search for Adidas and you get all these options available and I'm going to grab Adidas. And, and if I want to keep following Adidas, I'll click on follow and I'll have those on my Explorer tab. Now, what kind of information do I get? First off, we have the mails from Adidas. We can actually see what they are sending out because similar mail already subscribed to all these like emails. So you don't have to do this manually. So let's just say, you know what? Okay, this is a recent one. They sent this, all right, today is the 14th. So they sent this yesterday, okay? So what are they sending? Let's check it out. And before I go into more into, de into depth with this, I'm gonna show you what the whole overview of Adidas is. So this is one email, right? So what information do we have? So we got the subject of the email, we got where it was sent from, what email, when was it sent, the pre-header text, you get the desktop view, you got the mobile view, if you want to see how it looks, we can actually view it. We have the HTML, so if you actually want to grab this, you can grab it right here with the HTML. The text that's in this email, you can also add it to favorites like I told you before. You can add it to favorites so you can see it more easily if you want to save that particular one. Edit and download HTML. Keywords based on this, the statistics for this email. So for example, how many words in the subject line? So five words. And these are things that you have to analyze when you are sending out emails. So for example, if you check out 10, 20 emails from Adidas, Nike, uh, Puma, uh, similar companies, and they all range from four to six words, then you gotta be thinking, you know what? Okay, I need to do the same. I'm, I have to stop using really long text because if these guys are using short subjects, then I must do it too, right? Because like I said before, these guys, these guys spent thousands already and they got a marketing team with strategies to find all this out. So don't waste time doing it. Number of words, number of images, time to read, um, average shopping category, average shopping category at the bottom. We got the predict open rate. So they give you like this anal analyze prediction, a spam score of 2.5. Uh, fresh, fresh, that's spelled wrong, fresh reading score, um, others, so it's if it could be like technology, and the size of this email. And this is font used in this, so you got all that information also, the fonts used for this one. And that's just one single email, all the information that you can grab. Now let's go back to the overview of Adidas, all right? So like I said before, we're back here in Adidas. Let's check out statistics. And this is the overview of all the emails that they've sent. And this is the frequency by month. So like I said before, 
Um, for example, if you analyze five, six competitors that are, that are similar to your niche, then you will see, you know what, in this month they sent 17, or they, they lowered their email sense, so I must also lower it, or maybe make it more, right? So if I'm sending two a month, and these guys are sending seven, 10, eight, just around that ballpark, then you might wanna up that game, or if you're sending too many, you might wanna lower that. And you have the email frequency by day, so you can see when they send out these emails. So mostly these are sent by Wednesday and Thursday. Now you're not gonna base all your information on just one domain. Like I said before, analyze four or five and see what makes them similar and kind of do that. And for example, most popular day of the week for them, it's Wednesday. So maybe that's the best time to send your emails, right? Or maybe you don't want to compete directly with them and you send them one day before or after, right? So you get that overview of it. The subject and content analytics. So these are the analytics right here. So the average work length, average reading time, mobile optimized, fresh scoring, the fonts used on most of the emails, and the average subject length. Like I told you before, like for example, the average of all the Adidas emails are seven. Now let me show you really quickly another one, right? So let's go into Nike. Let's keep it in the same niche, all right? So if we go into Nike, we check out one of their emails, Let's see how long their subjects are and all that good stuff. So it's pretty basic and it's easy to use, right? So let me show you this one. All right, so that's Nike and this guy used a subject line of length of six. Let's go to the domain and let's go to subject content analytics and their average is five. So the average of Adidas is seven and Nike is five. So I would keep it in between that if I were in the same niche, right? So this could vary depending on what you do, right? So maybe you're selling something else, maybe your company is about something different and you have to like consider all of that when you are doing your own strategy. And the other thing that you could do is like just analyze the emails one by one of what they're doing, how are they doing it, how much color are they using, how much text. So for example, let me grab this one. So I'm gonna grab this and we're gonna check out what they actually do. So it's pretty useful and it's only $39. And like I said before, it's a lifetime deal. So what you can do is like analyze this. And the cool part about it, like I said before, is that I didn't have to go into Nike, Adidas, Puma, or whatever the brands I want to follow. And I didn't have to manually subscribe to them. So I'm not getting all that bunch of emails in between that, some spam. So I, I avoid all of that with this. So you got the emails and you see what they're doing, right? So you got to mix of some images, you got your logo, you got a, whoops, clicked on it. Okay, you got the header, you got a, you got the logo, you got a main image that's catchy, you got some text, you send them some shop, you got some more images right here, shop again, and that. Analyze, I don't know, 10, 20 emails, see what they're doing, and, th and that way you can decide how you are gonna base your strategy for your email marketing campaign. So that's basically what similar mail does, which is really useful, like I said before, if you are into email marketing or you want to up your game for your email marketing strategy. So that means if you're a marketer for email specifically, this is a must have. And if you just wanna make your emails better, then this could be an option for you. Well, there you go, guys. Like I said before, this is a $39 deal. It's a lifetime deal. That means you pay once, use it forever. And if you guys would like to support me, please consider using that link in the description, which gives me a small commission to buy these deals for you guys and show you what they actually do. And at the end of the day, you decide if you buy them or not. Well, I thank you guys for watching and do consider subscribing so you get the, the, the deals that are going live, live as they come out so you don't get them later. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.